Welcome to part 6 of how to make custom firmware for PS3. This is going to be one of the more interesting videos in the series because this is when we're going to actually add our custom firmware files to the official firmware to make the, cost the official firmware into custom firmware. So what we're going to want to do is um, we're going to want to open up PUAD and we're going to want to go to repacker so in the repacker you're going to have um, the pup file option but it's going to be smaller so if you just click on that um, and we should be still in the 480 OFW so we're going to double click on that pup only this time we want to save it to this folder here because this is the folder that we're going to want to edit it in so if you just navigate to desktop and then uh, my 480 custom firmware and then select that folder so now it's going to unpack the official firmware pup but it's going to unpack it to this folder so that we can edit it in there so there's a few things uh, click the dev flash and the core os and if you want to edit the upl click on upl um, you're going to want to click on 4xx firmware um, 3xx firmware is uh, from 3xx firmware there was no header on the spkg file Whereas in 4xx firmware they added the uh, spkg file header in. Um, you can make a manual Cisco, uh, core OS, which I don't recommend. Uh, and you can also change the version to, uh, to a manual version, which I don't recommend again. Um, unless you want to change it to 99999. Um, but just for the time being, this will be fine. Um, th there won't be any problems. Um, so we click start enabled pack, uh, spkg built for 4xx um, in fact while we wait for that to unpack i do just want to say like big shout out to evil nut um, who made puad it's a great program like i've, I've used a, diff a few different programs i used to use the file overflow tools and um, I've, I've, I've used a few different programs that unpack and repack and i think puad for me is the easiest fastest and best option um, okay so that's completed Right, so over here we've got our custom firmware files and we want to open up my custom firmware 480. So this is um, the firmware that we've just unpacked. So first we want to click on version and you want to call your custom firmware whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to call it 480 custom firmware. Uh, close that off and save that. Um, if you want to edit your license XML, um, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll do, um, I'll put my uh, already structured license XML in so that you can actually uh, just edit my one if you want, uh, I'll put I'll put a note as well on how to do that, uh, it's, it's not hard, it's literally just a case of adding what you want it to say, um, okay so uh, in the update files you're going to have, this is where it gets different, um, so you don't just have the uh, VSH and Dev Flash, you have uh, the individual tar folders. Um, so first we're just going to add the core OS. So we'll open up the core OS, open up unpacked and there's the core OS files. So we'll open up our custom firmware files that we edited, highlight them all, copy them and then we'll paste them in. And then just copy and replace. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now we want to add... Um, in fact, to tell you what, we'll add the category game XML first. Now, what, what I've done to make it a little bit easier for you, um, if you just drop back to the uh, dev flash tar folders, what I've done to make it a bit easier for you is I've added the tar locations for 480. Um, so basically, this is, these are the folders um, that certain uh, files are in. Um, so it just it just makes thing e things easier rather than opening each one up and and searching for it. So as you can see, the category game XML is in tar 15. So if we open up tar folder 15, go into the dev flash VSH resource explore and then XMB. And as you can see, here's our XMB XMLs. Um, so basically, you want to copy the category game XML and paste that into there. There we go. And then we drop back all the way to the tar folders again. Okay, so now we're going to add our VSH module. 
Um, so first file we want is the basic plugins. So the basic plugins is in tar6. So we open up tar6 VSH module and there's the basic plugins. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it into there and that's going to copy and replace. Then we drop back to the tar folders. So now we want to do the explore category game. So the explore category game is in tar9. So we'll open up tar9. Um, so each each update is different, so stuff moves around for each update, which is a bit of a nightmare. I have got an automated program that just searches it and just replaces them all for me, but I thought it better to do it. I, I wanted to show you how to do it the most basic way, um, so that you, you get a complete understanding of what it is that you're doing, and then once you start to get used to certain things, you can make your own ways up, um, and you can you you can use your own methods. Uh, and then we'll paste the category game into there. Back to the dev flash. Uh, so now we want the explore plugin. So where's the explore plugin? In fact, tar9 has actually got the uh, VSH in as well. So, so we'll copy the VSH as well. Right, so now we've only got the explore plugin and the NAS plugin left to copy over. Uh, what you could do is, is you could make a copy of this folder and then just drag the files over so that as you drag them over you know what you've got left. It's just I remember that we've done the other three and we've just got these two left. Depends what your memory's like. Okay, so the NAS plugin is in TAR 11 and the Explore plugin is in TAR 12. So we'll do the NAS plugin first. Module. There we go. Copy that over place back to the tar folders and then the uh, explore plugin is in tar 12 uh, where's the explore plugin there you are copy paste that into there copy and replace right okay so now we've copied all our files over um, we can close these folders off um, just go back to the uh, main folder so come out of the dev flash tar folders um, right so we've added the uh, modded core os files and we've added the modded vsh files and we've added the explore category game um, xml uh, so all intents and purposes it's been turned into a custom firmware now it's still gonna have all the blue pictures and stuff like that which if this series does get a good response, then I will um, continue it and I'll show you how to edit all the pictures and change colour. Um, and I'll show you how to uh, do various stuff, you know, like adding the Cobra payload, up to, up to updating packages and stuff like that. Um, it just depends. I mean, I'm hoping that a lot of people are going to be interested, but, you know, you never know. Okay, so once we've added all our files, click on Repack. Uh, this part will take a little bit of time because it's going to um, it's going to refix the tar files, resign the headers, and all that sort of thing. Um, uh, if there is anything that you want specifically um, for me to show you how to do, um, just let me know uh, within reason. As I say, if you want to discuss the level two, uh, just message me and I'll I'll um, I'll discuss that with you. It's just obviously I couldn't. I couldn't put the uh, the level two system calls into the video, um, just due to legal reasons. Because obviously, I want to protect my own back, and I don't want the video to get removed. I want people to be able to see how to make custom firmware. Um, okay, so once it's finished, it'll spit out a new update update dot pup. Um, so all you got to do is just rename it ps3 update dot pup, uh, and then this file's ready to get installed on the PlayStation. Um, this file will install over any custom firmware from 355 to, well, any custom firmware up to 480 uh, and any official firmware up to 355. Um, yeah, so uh, I'd like to hear your feedback on the series and if there's anything you think that I should have done differently or, you know, it'd be nice to hear everyone's views and opinions.